Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. We're going to show you a little bit of coding in this video. Um, we are in a BMW Mini, uh, which has recently had the, um, the ABS module replaced in it. Uh, it's a common fault. Um, the fault code I was getting, we can't remember off the top of my head, but um, it is a very common fault with uh, Minis whereby the, uh, the ABS module will just basically uh, either fry or just stop working so it needs to be replaced and uh, sometimes the trouble is with putting a new one in uh, it's not always a case of um, just sort of clearing the code sometimes they will need to be uh, coded so that's what we're going to show you right now uh, now this is the Autel MS905 it's a Maxisys Mini um, we're going to show you this kit actually coding a new ABS module to the uh, the vehicle it's a 2004 Mini, uh, so just follow through me with what I'm doing. It'll do a lot of other vehicles as well. Um, incidentally, you can just click on the website www.diagnostic-world.com or you can click the link directly below this video. It'll give you a full long list of all the vehicle coverage and um, all the uh, sort of the functions that it will do for each vehicle. Uh, so we'll click on to Mini. Um, we're going to click on automatic selection. This is just basically finding the vehicle. So it's going to read the uh, the vehicle ECU and it will automatically find the vehicle VIN number. There we go. It's got the gain, the VIN, no problem. And here we are with the exact vehicle details. So we'll just click yes to that. Just saves us from inputting each individual bit of information regarding the vehicle. Uh, saves a bit of time as well and so quite often if you're dealing with a vehicle that you're not exactly familiar with then you're not exactly going to know the ins and outs of the vehicle so uh, if you do a quick automatic search it'll find all of that information for you uh, right so we have a few sections here uh, we can go on to diagnosis we can reset service the vehicle profile or we can click on coding so that's what we're going to do now gain a bit more information Click OK to that. In the next step, the Maxisys will con communicate with all control units and work out their program status. The process may take a few minutes, so we'll click OK to that. So what it's doing now is it's going through all of the uh, different modules which are installed into the vehicle, um, and it's going to find their current status, uh, just so it knows what needs to be programmed, uh, what doesn't need to be programmed. I mean, if you if you think you've got a problem with one of your your so your ECUs, um, there's no problem with you actually coding it again if it's already if it's already been coded, but you think it might be done incorrectly or um, something like that, then by all means you can code it again with this kit as well. And it's really a really easy process. It takes you through sort of every step of the way. It's it's quite impossible to 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 do anything wrong really. Um, as I say, it does cover all of the uh, the main makes and models, uh, all of your sort of your daily drivers. Uh, it even covers the high-end kits like Lamborghini, Ferrari, Maserati, um, Bentley, Bugattis, Rolls-Royce. Uh, the only sort of supercar I would say that doesn't uh, touch is Aston Martin. Unfortunately, I do know they are working on the software. Um, but at the time of making this video, which is September 2016. Uh, unfortunately the Aston Martin software is not available it is the Aston Martin software is actually a, a really difficult set of software to get hold of to the um, to the home DIY uh, yeah you can basically forget about it uh, it's not gonna work unless you're willing to pay thousands and thousands for the uh, the dealer software package that is uh, but anyway so we're 77 percent through here we're nearly there There we go, 
so that's just all it's done there is a search of the actual uh, modules which are installed so we're going to click on decoding and we're going to control uh, code control unit uh, control unit list and here we are ABS stroke DSC stability control MK60 so we're going to click on that and then click OK now note number one turn off engine and switch on ignition so we'll do that ignition is on um, in the process of coding pro programming the vehicle voltage must be stable otherwise please connect to power device so we'll click on do we wish to continue we'll click yes measured system voltage 14 that's fine okay to that so there we go so it's telling us number one ABS stroke DSC stability control MK60 and it's actually coding you'll see here that it's there's a progress bar uh, it's always at zero percent it won't sort of work its way through which I think would be quite handy um, you might find it'll sit like this for a few minutes and then all of a sudden it'll just go 100 percent coded uh, it'll say coded success or coded failure so it does take a few minutes as I say um, but bear with me I promise you we will get there and there we go actually this one's quite quickly so you notice how it's now 100% and it says coded so we'll just click on that uh, ask us to read codes no fault codes detected there we go so that is the ASC uh, DSC uh, ABS unit coded with the Altel MS905 Maxisys Mini. Uh, the kit is available just by clicking the link directly below this video or you can visit the website which is www.diagnostic-world.com. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.